Good afternoon and God bless to my brothers and sisters across the United States of America. It is hot where I'm at, extremely hot, sweltering, humidity off the charts, but it is July and that's the way it's going to be in the United States. So let's just get into the meat and potatoes of this past week and what the Holy Word has to say with what's going on in America and how it correlates with the Bible. This is my videos. This is what I do. I try to go over the news, what's going on in the uh, United States, either be political or the, the entertainment world, whatever it may be, and how it correlates with the Bible. Well, we had a very, very interesting week. Uh... Wow, very interesting week. A lot of tempers being flared. Uh, we just had a riot in Portland just the other day. Uh, civil war is being threatened in every which way you turn around. Civil war this, civil war that. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I know a lot of people are worried, and, and, and they have every right to be, but I will say this. Uh, if you believe in God and you believe in Jesus, and you believe in the Word, and you follow the Word, and you read and study, you should know that God will not let something happen unless He deems it to happen. In other words, if He continually just takes His hand completely off the United States, then anything's game. But I don't believe that's happened. Civil War, I think that's kind of strong. Uh, they said the same thing in the late 60s with all the riding into the early 70s over the Vietnam War. Uh, the hippie movement, the drug culture. I went over this in one of my previous videos. You know, the civil unrest, the uh, civil rights, which was extremely important. Uh, all of that was just a big powder keg and it exploded in the late 60s and into the early 70s. And you're basically seeing somewhat of the same thing right now. But instead, it's basically the left versus the right, or the liberals versus conservatives, or the believer versus the non-believer, or the Democrat versus the Republican. Whichever way you want to throw it up in the air, whichever way it's going to come down, that's, that's what's going on right now. It's the right versus the left. The believer versus the non-believer. I am a believer, and I tend and will always tend to side with the Bible and with our Lord Jesus Christ. I will follow Him. And I will read and I will strive for perfection as the Word says to do. This past week, we had an absolute powder keg blow off about the immigration in America. Again, this time it is the children being separated from the parents at the border. Um, I'm glad that President Trump uh, took care of that. But uh, the left is, is very sneaky. I would say the mainstream media is very sneaky, and they're very good. I have to say they're very good by what they do. They're, they're hip, hip, hypocrites without a doubt, but they're very good at it. Uh, you know, they lack to tell you that the previous administrations did the exact same thing. As a matter of fact, a few weeks ago, if you all remember, there was pictures going around the internet and people all up in arms, these little children in cages, sleeping on little paper-thin mats, and oh God, President Trump, look at him, he's got him in prisons, and this and that. Well, it turned out the photo was from 2014, and it was under Barack Obama, but that was quietly hushed up. Just like the Time Magazine cover with the little child looking up, and they put President Trump there. The little child was not separated from her mother. Her mother was actually standing right next to her as that photo was being taken. But you see, that is absolutely the way the left and the media works in this world. Uh, not only in America, all over. Uh, the thing is, is they are simply not going to quit. It's called propaganda. They are going to continue to push and push and push. Now that hatred is being spewed out towards anybody that voted for this president. I voted for him. And guess what? I'm going to vote for him again. Because I look at the accomplishments. Is the man perfect? No. You see, that's the difference between a conservative and a liberal when it comes to President Trump and President Obama. We know President Trump isn't perfect. He's made plenty of mistakes. He's put his foot in his mouth plenty of times. He's said things I don't agree with. I look at his policies. 
But when someone supported Barack Obama, they would never admit anything that he did wrong. If you ever go back and watch the press conferences when Josh Ernest was his press secretary, just go back and look at some of them. Just go back and look how the press acted, how they did nothing but toss not only softballs at him, but balloon balls. I mean, big beach balls. Never had those hard-hitting questions, especially when Benghazi was going, when um, Eric Holder and the... Uh, gun running escapade was being brought out into the open all of that was just quickly pushed under the under the rug and you know it, it's just amazing at the excuse me at the hypocrisy that's going on in this country and in our media that's why the media is probably at the point of uh, absolutely the lowest trust rating that they've ever had i'm pretty sure they are right at right now uh and they deserve it they absolutely deserve it i'm going to go over a few things um the first thing I'm going to go over is the left with the children. Their outcry all of a sudden about the concerns for children. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that in general. There's nothing wrong with being concerned about children. But what I say is why aren't you concerned about the children in America who go to bed every night hungry that live in below poverty standards there is plenty of them in these inner cities I live right outside of a major inner city that is a slum believe me it is a murder drug infested just slum I don't know how else to put it it's, it's terrible absolutely terrible extremely terrible uh, you don't really hear anything about that in that city that I live right outside of is liberal Democrat ran and has been for decades and never is improved. Never, never, never. It's always the same crime, drugs, high homicide rate, always. Mayors getting, uh, in my city, getting uh, thrown out of office for taking bribes and corruption, and it's just, you name it, it's just a never-ending snowball going down the hill, and it just, it just never ends. And there's plenty of children in this nation that need our help. Plenty. And I'm not saying the ones that are being brought across the border don't. But if you're going to make such a big stink about these children, okay, you need to be concerned about all the children, period. But you're also forgetting that a lot of these children were sent here on their own. So how does their parents love them that much when they're sent with strangers who abuse them, rape them, who knows what? I mean, this is a proven fact. This ain't me saying this. Do your research. You don't hear them crying about that. But they have such disdain and visceral hatred for this president that they're just going to go full out, even though they know it's lies. They're just going to go full out. And you know why? Because the devil is a deceiver. He is a liar and he deceives. And he's deceiving a portion of this nation that listen to that and believe it. Now they want to abolish the immigration enforcement that we have here. They want to open the borders up completely. Let's go over that for just one second. Let's see how good of an idea that would be. Uh, you open the borders up. First off, your economy is going to take a massive hit because you're going to have probably millions of people flooding into this country that is now going to have to be supported. They don't speak the language. They don't seem to want to speak the language. So what's going to happen? They're going to go on welfare, social services, which our taxes pay for, which they're going to have to jack taxes up sky high to get this taken care of. So how does this work? You, they, you, they won't tell you. They're just concerned about the children. Okay? Also, when those millions of people are flooding into the United States with these open borders, don't you realize that terrorists are going to just waltz right into the United States and you're going to start having bombings on buses like they have in Israel or had in Israel and still occasionally do? You're going to have attacks from California to New York and everywhere in between. You've got to have security. They won't answer that. Do you honestly think, if you don't like what I'm having to say and you are for open borders, let me ask you a question. Do you not honestly, honestly think if you open them borders and let anybody come in that, that terrorists from the Middle East are not going to just walk right in? 
to this nation and kill innocent people? Do you not think that's going to happen? They do it now. They sneak in now. Can you imagine when it's just wide open? It's going to happen. That's why we have to stand our ground. We have to pray for this president, pray for this nation, because I'm telling you, the devil, the demonic, the spiritual world, the evilness is at full swing, and we have to stand strong and fight it every single step of the way. And how do you do that? You do it with this. You do it by getting on your knees and praying and asking the Lord for protection, for guidance. You do it by getting into this Word every day, reading it, studying it, learning it, knowing this is your guidebook. This is your guidebook right here. This teaches you what you need to do in life. Right here, this is, just, this is your guidebook. It's the way I look at it. The last thing I want to say about children, and I'm very, very, very hard on this particular subject that I'm going to bring up. Again, the left is so concerned about children. Well, why don't you ask them how concerned they are when they completely support all the way and fight for it, Planned Parenthood, and their abortion factories to where they murder innocent babies in mother's wombs daily, every day. As I'm speaking right now, some poor baby was just murdered somewhere in this United States of America. Many of them, many of them from California to New York was just killed as I was speaking these words, was just murdered. And now up until nine months, they're murdering innocent children up till nine months in the womb. Those babies have heartbeats. They have brain activity. They are a live human being. And he's being or she's being murdered. Period. Where is the outcry from the Democrats for those children? Where? And I must say the Republicans. Where? Abortion, Roe v. Wade, needs to be stopped in this country because it's murder. And if you're a Christian and you're a Bible believer and a follower of our Lord Jesus Christ, you too must stand against abortion because it is wrong. It is murder. And you know what God says about His children, about the innocent. It's better for you not to even been born you bring harm and discourse to a child. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I don't know if this video will be blocked. Maybe. I've had another one blocked because I spoke about a subject. Uh, homosexuality, homosexual marriage, and what the Bible says. Uh, but I, I, it's the truth. I'm not sitting here blasting somebody because of their preference but what I am doing is reading what the Word says. That's it. I do not believe in, in, in gay marriage. I do not believe that a man should marry a man or a woman a woman. I believe God made Adam and Eve. I do not believe, and He did not make Adam and Steve. So, one other quick note yesterday. This is how bad it's getting in this country. I was coming home from church, and I stopped at a local convenience store. And on my way in, I passed an elderly gentleman. I would say he would have been probably in his 70s. And I had my hat on right here, as you can see. I wear it all the time. I have another one that has a verse, Bible verse on it. But as I passed him, he spun around, looked right at me, pointed to his head, and said, Take that effing thing off your head and I stopped dead in my tracks because I at first I wasn't sure if he was talking to me because there were several people around in the store but he looked right at me again I mean this time he was two feet from me three feet from me and said pointed right to his head and I told him it ain't gonna happen I told him to go on about his business and that just goes to show you the disdain that they have 
for people of faith and Christians in this country. It's coming, folks. It's coming. It says in the Word. Remember, Jesus said the world hated Him before it hated you. And it's true. They crucified our Lord and Savior. What do you think they'll do to us? So, be careful out there. Because it is getting testy. It's getting very, very violent. You must be careful. Uh, pray. Every day that is so important. Ask the Lord for guidance and help. And listen, if you make a mistake, if you fall, we've all sinned. We all sin. We're all sinners. Every single one of us. You ask for forgiveness. You get back on your feet. And you strive not to do what you did. You strive. See, that's the difference between someone who, who is in love with their sin and continually makes that sin every day and says, Oh, well, God will forgive me. Yeah, God will forgive you. But if you continually, willfully sin day after day, you're not going to make it into heaven. No matter how much affection or uh, love you may have for God. It's really simple. It, it, again, it is plain as day. Right here, it's plain as day. You just have to read. You have to read. So, I know that was a lot. Um, again, if you want to subscribe, I appreciate it. If you don't, you don't. Keep the comments civil because I will delete. Profanity will not be tolerated. I will not tolerate profanity. I will not tolerate any type of name calling. If you don't believe in God, we'll have a discussion. That's fine. If you believe in abortion and you want to have a discussion, that's fine. Do it like an adult. No name calling, no profanity because you will not be able to comment. I will delete and then eventually I'll have to stop them, which I don't want to do. I really don't. Because I think it's a wonderful thing in this country that even if you don't agree, you can talk it out like adults. And I will listen. May not agree, but I will listen. So that's it. I want to say thank you. God bless to each and every one of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Stay cool wherever you are. And if you're on the mid-Atlantic where I'm at, stay inside if you can help it. Stay cool and drink plenty of liquids in this type of heat. God bless. Have a wonderful day.